right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is Accidents by the artist uh, George the Poet. Uh, listen, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Um, let's go ahead and just jump into this immediately, guys. We have the lyrics pulled up just in case we need them, and let's see where he takes us today, guys. All right? My girlfriend had a miscarriage. After months of mourning sickness and no periods. Recordings, pictures, the whole experience. All those books that we couldn't stop reading. One day she woke up and she wouldn't stop bleeding. Left the trail like the one Hansel and Gretel found. I called an ambulance, she made me cancel and settle down. I thought she was trying to avoid admitting something was wrong. I'd seen her deal with pain before, but nothing as strong. I swear my temperature lost digits. I turned my tears into hostages. My ideas couldn't cross bridges. They I've turned my tears into hostages. Listen, so obviously, you no know, George Apollo comes with a an, an amazingly deep, um, you know, story about uh, him apparently losing a child. Um, sorry to hear this. Uh, absolutely. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one, guys. Let's go. Jumped off. Now they're washed up in lost stitches. Ever got stitches? That's not a fraction of the pain. Total shutdowns. The reaction of the brain. Yeah, I got stitches all over the place, guys. I have stitches right here. So wait, where, where is it at? Here. Stitches. Stitches are. Uh, let's get it. A fraction of the pain. Total shutdowns. The reaction of the brain. I closed my eyes, hoping the fact didn't remain. And then I opened them to this accident again. I couldn't stop thinking about the ambulance dialed. We look like some junkies, hampered and wild. And it's mad because part of me felt angered and riled. But obviously we never planned for the child. We thought, God gives blessing, we're receiving a portion. So at the time I didn't believe in abortion, but I still Googled it, looking it up for an option. I couldn't see us putting her up for adoption. She was wary of abortion. She'd heard it triggers effects and she'd had one already, one of her biggest regrets. It was part of the reason she hated herself and why she constantly felt like her figure's a mess. She invested a lot into the last pregnancy, so when she changed her mind, she was backdating, by which time she was lactating. So she couldn't normalize, she was traumatized. And as she told me this, she shook before my eyes. And I became conscious of abusing her fragility, which was the context of her losing her virginity. So we kept the baby to avoid producing her fertility. That's the backdrop to having lost a child. Oh, and by the way, she was a foster child. Spent most of her life wow. getting tossed around. Manchester, Newcastle, Gloucester bound. And for the first time, she crossed the boundary of having a love she owned, not just lost and found. So what she felt she didn't need to say as her body allowed the dream to bleed away. Even though she was a likely mother, honestly, we didn't really like each other. I was immature and she was insecure. We were in too deep, kind of swim to shore. This is literally how we started. We used to muck around and I just kind of stuck around. Then after a bit with all the laughter and shit, she told me if I was to leave, that would have struck her down. So she became an accidental wife, and we had made an accidental. She became an accidental wife, um, and we had made an accidental life. Wow, dude. Um, George the Pope back with uh, a heavy topic, guys. Um, I don't even know how to jump into this, guys. That's why I'm just letting it play so you guys can hear it in, in its full, in its full, guys. Because like, this is absolutely a, a, a horrifying situation to be thrown and with within. And there's a lot of situations like this. She became my accidental wife, and we had made an accidental life. Right? This is not something that's that's foreign or weird he, he he says he doesn't believe in the concept of extinguishing the child's life inside of the mother respect right 
But then when it happened, he immediately tried to figure out exactly how he could, you know, fix the situation in a sense. But he didn't go through it, go through with it. And then the child and ended up uh, losing, in a sense, its life uh, inside of the mother. Um, wow, dude. A kadan. So she became an accidental wife, and we had made an accidental life. And that potential mess brought bags of mental stress because that life met with an accidental death. So what had the strongest dream and achieved? And wasn't I wrong for feeling relieved? Maybe it was part of regaining her power, but understandably after that she turned sour, which I thought was a game she'd be playing forever. But whatever, we couldn't justify staying together. Yeah, it's hard. It would be extremely hard to... If the only reason you're staying together is for the the life of the child, and then um, you lose that child, the chance of you staying together is, you know, even though you just went through something absolutely uh, horrific, right? The the chance of you staying together is, is slim. You know what I mean? <clears throat> she told me she missed me after breaking up, and expected us to be on the path to making up. I said, look how well you've done on your own. You don't miss me. You miss having someone to phone, someone to moan to, someone to hold you, someone to bow true when others approach you. Look how far you've come on your own too. You don't even like the world I'm on the road to. So come and it's plain to see that someone just ain't in me. But I still entertained all the love she showed, which must have given her false hope. She told me she was saving herself for me, behaving herself for me, but that's not the way that it felt to me. Felt like she'd been with someone else to me. So who is it? Wow. She became visibly immersed in her fears, broke into an act she'd rehearsed in her years. An easy way around any person that kissed. Took her head slowly and burst into tears. I don't understand why the hell she's crying. She says she feels insulted, I can tell she's lagging. And that makes me wonder what else she's hiding, cause she's not that kind of girl, so why the hell is she crying? She said I'm pregnant again. Wow. Oh, Am I the only possible dad? She said it was a one night stand and I feel my whole body go numb like that. Come in, come in, come in. She follows that up with a lot of bullshit. Come in. It lasted for a minute and he's got a small dick And he gloats about it but he's not at all sick He's a horrible prick And I said frailty thy name is shut the fuck up You dragged me through this bullshit Kicking and screaming All need for me to find you've been tricking and scheming Through the same mouth he's been sticking his dick in his semen Which you've been kissing me with after licking his semen Look at me when I'm talking to you Well that happened after licking his semen, look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you. She's for the streets, bro. I can't believe I thought I knew you for real, but for old time's sake, I'm gonna do you a deal. Any memories of us you're gonna fully forget, and I'll leave before I do something I fully regret. Oh, I'm scaring you now, poor you. I guess sorry's too much of a mouthful, too, so don't fucking phone my phone. I'll call you. <clears throat> All right, so basically, right, George Paul comes with some with an absolute crazy story, right? It it takes you on a definitely on an emotional roller coaster ride. You're definitely there. You you definitely are seeing this happening kind of mentally, right? Um, it's an absolutely horrific story, and it doesn't and it's not like it's a weird one, guys. It it, it happens every single day to people. You know what I mean? Um, all right, listen, now let me know in the comments uh, the next one of these for him I should be listening to, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can, all right? And listen, now you guys all have an amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly, guys, all right?